Hello YouTube, this is Hugo from Hacker Avon Forum. I'm going to create a video tutorial on my C Sharp INI file tutorial over here on the forum. Alright, for any of you that don't know what an INI file is, I will show you. Let's just do the tutorial first. It's basically a settings file, that's all I'm going to say right now. Anyways, create a project, name it whatever you want, name mine INI, add two text boxes name one of them name the next one forum alright now we have two text boxes that don't do anything perfect now you need a file that I will give you uh, I will link it in the description it's file just add your project it's the code for INI. C sharp doesn't have INI support built in, so you're gonna need that. Now, now double click on the form, generate your form load. Now this is what we're gonna do. First, we do using that INI, so you know it uses its file. Next, we create the string path. What this does is gets the current application path and add settings that I to it. You could change this later on if that's not the name you want. Now we need this. Let's see pat pat just calls for an INI file. Alright. Now we're not writing at the moment, so we're only reading. This we're going to change. Yeah we'll leave this section, but we're gonna change this name dot text remember that we have a text box that uh, that's named name we have to make it to, uh, to string ah. all right now just copy this because I'm too lazy to type it all again well I didn't type it the first time did I whatever <laughs> put this form I'll teach you in a second what all this is just give me a minute all right now the application ah, I don't know why it's doing that alright whatever now the application does nothing because there's no INI file to read from this is where the write comes from now we need to import system.io because we're going to use it and we're, we're going to do this if file.exists path if uh, all right, it's saying if fi if the file path does not exist, oh, uh, it's my error. Uh, it's a type of it's like variable. Oh, I typed it wrong. All right. If uh, path does not exist, we write it. All right. This is saying write to i n i write the value in the section section. The ver uh, in the name's name and the value will put he go now copy and paste again lead section change this form and hacker have it now if the file doesn't exist it will create an ini file and put these uh, this two in it i'll show you in this i'll show you right now what i mean oops all right so this is our ini let's call them um, uh program this is the outdated version, so yeah, nothing happens. Doesn't generate a settings file. This is the new version. We're running it. Here's the INI file. Okay. Now this time, the file exists, so this code is not going to run. It's only going to run this. Let's change this to Hugo555. Save it, and run the program now. All right. So. What the INF file does is supplies the program with the information it requests. In the program, we requested name uh, for in the section section. See section. Now notice if I ta change this, nothing because it's only looking in the section section. So we need to call the section. And then it's looking name, and the name is called name. And this by default is going to write Higo for me, but it oh, it's called on the read. It doesn't have a third parameter, so it's taking in this. 
this this is basically equal to this and same in here form.txt or form text box is um, the value of that is from section form value See, whatever we add here will go into the program. Now, let's pretend we want it to automatically save no matter wh when the user types something and closes the form. This is what we will do. We'll create. Actually, we won't because we could just use C sharp and do that automatically. The Visual Basic is pretty nice. Now, let me just find it here. Um. should be here all right form closing all right so when the user is closing the form we're going to do this we are going to write all right so we're going to write copy this we're going to change it don't worry now instead of this we're going to remove this and we're going to write name dot text this means whatever is in the text box will be written uh, we need this here too. All right. Now let's do the same for form. All right. Ah, errors. I don't know why it's doing this. Sorry. What's in one now? What's it mean? I hate errors. Well, that needs to be closed. Alright, there. <laughs> okay, that's just a warning. Alright, so now, whenever we type in here and we close it, we'll automatically save. We close it it's there again see it's changing now let me open this with text pad so you can notice it changing okay ah it's not requesting ah damn it yeah but uh, un you understand right what I mean damn it yeah sorry about that I forgot on windows when you shake a window it clo minimizes everything else whatever you understand now now I'm just going to go through it all one last time. We are using system.io so we can check if the file exists. I think. Let's just double check. Yeah, see? It gives an error if we don't have it. We're using INI because C Sharp doesn't have INI support, so we need that file. We create the string path to have the path to the INI file. We declare it etc. We check if the file already exists and if it doesn't we write we create it and we write these two defaults. Then if it does exist uh, well it does exist or doesn't already create it whatever it reads from it. You get the ver uh, um for text box name the string will be from name from text box form will be from form and we do to string because it needs to be a string it's, it needs to be a string format for text boxes now when the user is closing the form it will declare it and write to it whatever the user wrote in the forms I mean in the text boxes if you don't want that way you can create a save button which I will show you right now how to do just rename this delete all this extra stuff alright so just create a button oops and ah I forgot you need to have all this extra junk that we just deleted
Alright, it's gonna give a snare, don't worry, I'll fix it. I'm just being really lazy. It's gonna give a snare. Um, I didn't even expect that error, but okay. Okay, now let's change this, close it, and reopen it. It's not changing until we press save. Eh, my bad. Oh, I know why. That's why. Wow, that's really irritating. Okay, save, close, open, yeah. Now let me open this in TextPad. Save. Save. So, INF files are really helpful because you can store whatever you want and it's really easy to edit for the user because it's really easy to read. The code is pretty small, it's not much and it has decent functionality. So, I hope you learned something today. Visit Hackgraven form over here, the watermark down there. I hope it's visible, it should be. I worked really hard on it, no I'm kidding. Anyways, thanks for watching and goodbye.